Hi, Mark Washburn from PondAlgaeSolutions.com here. And you know, this time of year in midsummer, uh, one of the most common problems we get uh, asked about is green water or planktonic algae. And interestingly, we talk about lowering nutrient loads in a pond to deal with any kind of algae problem, whether it's string algae, uh, pond scum, planktonic algae. But one of the key factors in green water problems uh, really doesn't have anything to do with your pond at all. It's the sun. Excessive sun exposure adds a lot to the equation of why you have green water to begin with. And dealing with um, sun exposure has to be one of your primary objectives, I think. So how do you do this? Well, in a small pond, the easiest way to cut down on sun exposure is by adding beneficial plants, things like floaters, water lilies, water hyacinth, anything that has the ability to cover some of the surface. Uh, pond experts suggest covering up to two-thirds of the plant surface with beneficial plants if you really want to control algae naturally. However, if you combine plants with the beneficial bacteria, oftentimes you don't need as many plants to do the job, but you still want to block some of the sun exposure. You could also use a physical structure. We've seen in uh, small pond uh, layouts, we've seen the use of actual physical structures, uh, overhangs and decorative uh, coverings or backdrops that actually can help shade the pond somewhat throughout the day. In larger bodies of water, we see this problem mostly in shallow ponds. Anything six feet or less uh, often has problems with green water or water quality, and a lot of that can be attributed to the sun exposure. Now, to deal with that in a large body of water, we often use or suggest using an aquatic dye. This is a blue or black tinting that you would add, I think, very gradually is the best way to go uh, to bring the pond up to a, a certain tinted level. You don't want to create a blue soup, but you want a light tint to the water to help cut down on uh, sunlight penetration, which can really stimulate the activity at the bottom. Keep in mind that algae needs several things to grow very well. One of those is nutrients, just like any plant, but it also needs uh, adequate sun uh, exposure in order to really uh, get going and take off and become a real problem in your pond. So. Next time you have an issue, be sure to consider sun exposure and the ways that you can limit it when you're dealing with a green water problem. Thanks for visiting, and we'll see you next time.